Uh, we then had all the information, obviously, in the first minutes and hours, but very clear the situation began and being very obvious when we began seeing images uh, of these uh, bodies and these passports in the hospital that confirm uh, these were our people. Uh, at the end is what we know, what everybody knows, uh, that 17 members between the special specialty security people we have, three British individuals and three, uh, three international crew plus one Palestinian, that they were targeted systematically, car by car. They were targeting us in the conflicting zone, in an area controlled by IDF. Them knowing that was our teams moving on that route with two armor, with three cars. And then they hit the third one, and then we saw the consequences of that continuous targeting attack. Seven, seven people dead, um, but there are seven on top of a list of more than another 190 humanitarian workers that they've been killed over the last six months. If, if we were targeted this way, I need to understand that this was no issues. I need to understand that this was not by somebody that is above law and order that decided used to kill us because, I don't know, maybe because I did a tweet that was very strong against President Netanyahu. I don't know. Uh, obviously, that's why we need to have an investigation that is neutral and is above IDF. Um, I, 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 I believe will be good intentions on anybody. and They will tell the story where they want to say. But what I know is that we were targeted deliberately, non-stop, until everybody was dead in this convoy. That 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 cannot be that cannot be the role of a, an army. That cannot be the role of an army that has hundreds of drones above Gaza in any single moment.